hello, TJ from Unicron Non Customs here. I'm going to show you guys a really cheap, simple, ghetto way to get a good, effective detail job out of figures that have lots of little details like this. We're starting with a gray little figure. Got some little gray parts with details on them. Just to show you how some cheap Walmart acrylics, which could be mixed with a little gray, just for example. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it real simple. Make sure it's as clear as it can be for the camera. Alright, and the goal is to make these little detailed areas look a little bit more like... Follow the sun. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is good old simple ink wash we'll get some of this black put a little dabby doesn't take much if you're mixing it with the gray if you don't want it to be really dark you don't want to use a whole lot of black because the black really goes pretty far what you're gonna do is I got water in here I'm gonna dab it in the water dab that right there. I'm just going to kind of mix them up until I have about a 50-50 water paint consistency going on. Maybe less than that really. Maybe more water because I can always do more coats, you know, later. We're just going to start pretty much just running that all in the cracks. Of course, right off the bat, it doesn't look very good. There's a little more to it. Now, it may take a couple of passes with it about this consistency. If you want to make it darker, you can do that, but it can easily wind up having more of a dirty look that way than what you might want. I'm not trying to spend a lot of time getting it exactly in the cracks right now because this is really just to show you how the whole thing works. Skipping on ahead a little bit. Just about got this done. Kind of a weird angle to try to do this at. And you can see the other side's already started to dry a little bit, so I'm gonna go back in there a little bit more in the line, the line details, the little recessed areas. Hit it again, just to make it sure, make sure that it settles in there well. Uh, just for another example, you know, dip, 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 and just, see, I got a little more black in it that time, but that's okay, it'll give you an example of uh, the difference in more water or more black. We'll leave that alone, let that dry. Same thing on these parts. Really, have, rather have a little more water in it. Now, these Walmart acrylics aren't something you'd normally paint a lot of stuff with because they're not the most dependable thing. But when it comes to these little recessed areas, after you've rubbed off what you can, which I'll show you in a moment, and you hit it with a good gloss or flat spray, there's really not much damage you can do to it. Yeah, that ought to work. Now when you're really trying to make this look good, doing it on one of your figures, you want to spend more time making sure it's all down in the cracks because a lot of times it, it'll have bubbles. There's also the whole option of going back and touching it up after your first round. Which I'm probably not going to do for these garbage toy chunks. All right, now let's let that dry for about five minutes. All right, now what you do is you get you a nice damp piece of cloth. I usually wind up using my shirt. After it's kind of dried up a little bit, you're gonna scrub along the details. 
since all the details on this basically go berserk all different directions, I can't really give you a good example of, well, see how these lines go that way? You don't want to scrub that way because that'll rub it off. And since there's a line going that way too, I'm going to kind of hit it diagonal. Going along the lines can rub it off. Get all the paint right out of the cracks. So you try to, of course you'll have to scratch in some of these little details here to really get it. But if you don't wait too long, if you only wait about three to five minutes where it, you don't really see any water on it, but it's not fully super dry and hard, you can really just scrub and scratch this stuff right back off and it only stays in the recesses. Again, I'm doing kind of a quickie job here since I'm holding this thing out for the camera. Can't really get in there and try to make it look too good, but you see how that brings out the detail. Of course, if you painted this whole thing silver or whatever color you want it to be, and then you did this, it looks a whole lot better than just the plastic, but this is for example. See how it just comes right off. flat surface and leaves it only in the cracks. Yeah. So there, I think you got the idea on that. Let's try this little Megatron chunk here. See? Quick, easy, and brings out all those little details. This works, once again, it works a lot better on just line details like on the fall of Cybertron Jazz or you know Classics Jetfire it's a good one and that's how you do that and now I'm gonna show you how to dry brush for dry brushing we're just gonna spray paint this same chunk I've already messed with black let that dry for a little while and then I'll show you real quick. This is real simple. And it makes your toys, instead of looking like cheap plastic, come out making some really cool robot realistic effects, such as Alright, so I spray painted this little part, Cryon Fusion Black on one side, just for this happy little example. Uh, the whole ink wash thing, getting some of this, whatever other color you might want to mix with for just dark detail and effects on whatever color figure you're working with, all that and a paintbrush, that probably cost you about five or six bucks max. Um, this could be a little more expensive what we're going to do here because you'll need a decent paint. Dry brushing is on the surface on top instead of down in the recesses so you really have to use a better quality paint. And of course you're going to want to seal this with some sort of good sealant like you know testers clear coat or dull coat I play around with different ones or I have found the ones that work best for me and that's what I usually use so I'm gonna get some chrome here model masters enamel shake it up really good you will usually want to shake your enamel paint for like a good minute usually to make sure everything's mixed up good Let's just get on with it here. All right, just gonna work right out the top. Got a fairly broad brush here compared to the other one. Gonna dip, dip. Now you can wipe off the extra paint you have on your brush because that's the whole goal here behind dry brushing. You can wipe it off in here lightly. I don't want this to be too light, but the lighter you go, and the more coats you go, really can be the better it looks. Just do it like that. On and on. Across it. Nice and simple, like you're sweeping, swabbing the deck. You're lightly grazing across. You're not putting a lot of pressure on the actual figure itself. Just kind of lightly grazing across. All right. Now, CD case is nice and easy to use. 
You're not getting paint all over everything or anything that matters. Get off most of the excess and just go for it. You see how it's leaving that nice realistic metal effect? Now like I said, you can go over that however many times you want from different angles until until it looks like you want it to. It's something you'll want to experiment with a little bit. It may not look great the first try. But anyway, that's how it's done. Thanks for watching the little tutorial. I hope it helped you out. Quick, easy, cheap ways to do some of the, you know, better looking beginner effects. <laughs> Make a huge difference on a figure. Combination of those two things can really bring out a lot of life in a figure. So, I hope it helped you. Have a nice day.